Kishore has called in. Kishore, how can we call you? Uh, how can we help you? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to understand. I'm a salaried person. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am uh, uh, right now. I'm having two flats. One which I'm staying, the other I have uh, given it on rent. Okay. Uh, is it advisable to buy a third home, or is it better to go for uh, uh, for an investment in stock market? The period that I'm looking for the benefits is ten years. Ten years. Now that's a call that ideally you should be taking yourself. But uh, yes, uh, Harsh. What would you tell him to do? What would you ask uh, him to do? I think uh, clearly uh, the way one should look at uh, this is not an answer. Uh, there is no one asset is better than another or one investment is better. I think you have to look at your overall portfolio. From what you are saying, just simply from what you are saying here, you already seemed apart from the home that you stay in, which at least uh, in my book does not count as an investment. Uh, but the other house that you have, that's an investment. Depending on what other investments you hold, whether in the stock markets, in gold, in uh, equities, direct equities, in mutual fund, equity mutual funds, etc., uh, fixed deposits, I think you should look at what that composition should be. And if there is a uh, misalignment, uh, then obviously you should take a decision based on that. So if your real estate is already high, then maybe you should actually invest in equity. Do it systematically. Time horizon appears excellent. You are already talking of 10 years. So the time horizon is excellent. Uh, just make sure that you none of the assets overpower another. So e equity should not overpower real estate. Real estate should not overpower equities. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. However, Kishore, we are a real estate channel. And let me give you my two bits here. I can tell you this, that you know, it, it might actually make sense for you to go ahead, invest in equity for the next 10 years, make your money, take that money, the money that you uh, would make by you know, selling this home and put, put it together and buy a bigger house. You can also look at doing that. You never know how your investment goals may change uh, going forward. But one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that investment is a long-term habit and plus it is something that you need to keep revisiting. You need to keep revisiting your goals. That's only, it's only then that your investments really work for you. Uh, and, uh, bef and we are running out of time here on Property Hotline. But before we end, key takeaways uh, that, and lessons that we learned today on Property Hotline. There is nothing like an interest-free loan. You must pay interest for using that loan amount, for taking that loan. So if somebody is promising you an interest-free loan, that means it's a red flag for you to read the fine print.